Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a trying new makeup. I have a bunch of new products I wanna test out. And I also want to recreate or do something very similar to the look that I was wearing in my last video. I had so many requests and I actually just sat down and played with the Lunar Beauty facelift palette. And sometimes it's a lot, actually usually, it's a lot easier to do your makeup when you're not on camera because you're not worried about being in focus, being in frame, showing the products. So I'm gonna do my best to recreate something like it. I might use a little bit of a different color story. I used purple in that look, but today I'm going to be using the new Glam Light Michaela palette. I asked on my Instagram and you guys voted for this, and I did buy this myself. I've never used Glam Light shadows, but I thought this would be a great palette because there are so many bright colors in here, and that's what I need to do a look like that. So hopefully this performs well, and we will do basically a really vibrant cut crease look. If you missed that video, I will link it down below, but so many of you guys wanted to see that eye look. Along with that palette, I have the Gloss Trio, which looked gorgeous, and the highlighter. So I want to play around with both of those. So I have the new bronzer. This is the Sun Melt Cream Bronzer from Say. A lot of you guys, actually I was shocked how many wanted to see this. I also have the Elf Putty, but I'll probably do that next. Again, there's like so many cream products. I'm like, I have one face here. I also have Dominique Cosmetics, these blushes. They're cream blushes, three different shades here. I have worn I don't know if it's this one. I've worn one of them a couple times so I can give you my thoughts on the formula. I also have the new products from Huda Beauty. I know they're not brand new. Again, there's been so much stuff I was trying to keep up, but this is the Glowish Multi Dew Skin Tint from Huda Beauty, as well as the bronzers. So I played with both of these a couple times, and I will say, because I'm gonna be doing a really intense eye look, I'm probably gonna use this as a base or a mix-in, and I will explain why. But if I'm doing a cut crease and huge liner and all of that, I really need some coverage on my face to balance out the look because it is more of a full glam look. So that's kind of the struggle I have with these new trying new makeup videos is like the palettes I want to really showcase but then I don't feel like it matches with really natural skin tints and that's kind of what we're seeing. So we'll just play around, I'll tell you my thoughts, demo it and do all of that. And then a couple random products. I have the Buxom Plump Shot. This is basically like a lip plumper, very similar to the Lawless Forget the Filler but I want to tell you my thoughts on this. So I don't know what I'm going to do for lips. Again, we're going to start with the eyes and just go from there. Big thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring a portion of today's video and supporting my channel. It is always much appreciated. I really love working with them and I've worked with them for a few months now because I truly eat these bars every single day. I never skip a day. You will never catch a day that I don't eat these. If you've never heard of Built Bar or you're new to my channel, these are my go-to protein bars that are low calorie, high protein, and low sugar, but they really taste like a treat. I look forward to them every single day and they have a bunch of different flavors. Lately, I've been grabbing for the raspberry because it's so hot out. I'm sure you guys can relate. And it's really more of a refreshing, kind of like chocolate covered raspberry taste and when I want something a little bit more like indulgent or I guess dessert like I've been going for salted caramel which again tastes just like that it's like a chocolate caramel bar so these are low calorie 130 calories for both of these bars high protein so you've got 17 grams of protein in here low sugar four grams of sugar. So they're really guilt free. I like to have these in the morning. Like right now it's about 1045. So this is going to be my breakfast this and I'll have like a banana or an apple or something like that because they're packed with protein. They really do help me hit my protein goals and get more protein in overall, which is always a good thing. Keeps me fuller longer. So every built bar is covered in chocolate and then the inside is a fluffy sort of three musketeer texture. Some of them have bits of like coconut or nuts in them. You can read about that on the website, depending on what flavor. Some of of them I keep in the fridge like the raspberry for more of a refreshing treat and the salted caramel sometimes I like to heat up in the microwave and put ice cream on or whatever so it just depends on your preference but you really can do so many things with these bars and they have a ton of limited drops they've been doing some chunk bars some puffs which are kind of like marshmallow puffs and then they also I saw last week had strawberry orange and German chocolate cake back on the website so you definitely want to follow them to keep up because they do just like surprise drops of flavor that have come and gone or new flavors coming out. So I do have a code for you guys. It is BABSBEAUTY10 to save 10% off your entire order. I can't recommend these enough because I truly eat them every single day. I would not be without them. They taste incredible and they help me keep on track. So thank you again to Built Bar for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's go ahead and get into a full face of new makeup.
I've got you zoomed in and I'm going to start off by hydrating my lips. We're gonna try out this Buxom Plump Shop. I can't say that, Plump Shot. Plump Shot, is that what it's called? Collagen Infused Lip Serum. It's supposed to be a lip plumper, collagen infused, shown to visibly plump lips and, and decre oh, <laughs> plump shot collagen infused lip serum. I can't say plump shop, plump, plump shot. I keep, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, this is a lip plumper, <laughs> essentially. It is a clear, soft, shiny finish, conditions and smooths the lines of your lips, and it's supposed to basically plump your lips. Now, I've used this, I think, one time before. I can't remember if it was on camera, but it definitely does have a kind of peppermint tingle. It's not as crazy as like the Too Faced lip injection, but it definitely is not like the Lawless where you don't really feel anything except for like a light cooling. It's sort of in the middle. So it is clear. I just thought we would put it on before we start on our eyes. I still prefer the Lawless. I just love the way the Lawless looks. You can see this is not super shiny. The Lawless is like insanely shiny, so you can wear it over lipsticks to give you that shine. This one is more, I'm like spitting everywhere. What's happening? And we're just starting. <laughs> this one is more like a serum. So it definitely coats the lips, but it's more, why, why did I say serum? It's more like, I guess it is a serum, a balm. It's very balmy, whereas the Lawless is like a thick gloss. So I like the Lawless better, but I'll let you know when I start feeling the tingle. It is a little bit of a tingle. Like, I don't think it will hurt anyone or anybody will be like, oh my gosh, but it definitely is noticeable, whereas the Lawless, you really don't notice it. So for the eyes, I actually did wipe off my eye primer and reapplied it. I have had such an issue with dry eyelids and I need to find an eye cream, but I don't want one that has like retinol in it because I don't want to dry out my eyelids and I don't want one that is going to give me those milia. So if you have any recommendations for a hydrating eye cream that's not going to break me out that I can put all around my eye, I would highly appreciate that. But I applied my P. Louise base. This just works the best, especially for really bright looks, and I didn't set it. The reason this works really nicely is because when you don't set it, it has a very slight tack to it that really grabs onto these dark shadows that we're gonna be doing today to do a half cut crease. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're not setting your base or very lightly setting it because you want these dark shades to really sit down on the eye. And this one just has enough tack to where it grabs on, but it's not slipping and sliding. So for the eyes, we're gonna go in with the Michaela and Glam Light palette. This is the 30 color palette. I've never tried any Glam Light shadows, but they looked really intense and I have heard great things. So why don't we swatch a couple? By the way, I'm feeling my lips tingle, if you're wondering. It's definitely like a little bit of a prickly tingle. If you're very sensitive, I would say just go with the Lawless. If you like that tingle, then you might like this buxom one. Okay, so these are interesting. The shimmers in here are super intense. They feel creamy, like very creamy, almost like a ColourPop Super Shock. Hmm, I wonder how these are going to go on the eye. They look really beautiful. So here are some of the shimmers. Okay, so here are swatches of some of the mattes. They feel nice. There's not a ton of kick up in the pan. They feel pigmented, so we'll see how they really grab onto the eye. I'm going to start with the shade Frisky down here, which is the deepest purple in the palette. So with these looks, I like to start deep and then blend lighter up, if that makes sense. So typically when I do a very light look, I'll do a light shade in the crease and then deep in the outer corner. I'm gonna go backwards here start with the deep shade pack it on and then we're gonna slowly build and buff around it You'll see what I mean, but these definitely take a lot more time and patience So hopefully I can get a good look for you guys on camera. So making sure I don't have any creases and I'm gonna start pressing this in to my actual crease so my crease it's pretty low here and I'm just pressing it in using a smaller brush here. And this does not have to be perfect. You really just are trying to lay down the deep pigment. But because you don't set your base, you're going to have that stick down. So it definitely does help. And then I'm going to go a little bit up on the outer corner here. This is another reason that I do my eyes first. That way I can clean up any mess. I know I've never looked better, but this, oh my God, my lips. What is going on? My lips look a little scary. I don't, I don't know if I like that. I, oh my gosh. 
I feel like I look like I'm having an allergic reaction. <laughs> What do you guys think? Uh, if you really want plumping, I definitely see the plumping with the Buxom more than the Lawless, but I am feeling it. And it does give your lips a flushed look. So just keep that in mind. But I just I just looked up like, whoa, okay. Trust the process. This is where I look back on my footage like, you're posting this on the internet. <laughs> And you look crazy, girl. I find that with these looks that are really intricate, they look crazy before they look good. So I am getting kick up in the pan on this purple. Nothing crazy, but again, I don't see a ton of fallout on my face. Okay, so now that you have a general shape, you're going to very lightly with the same brush, do not put any more product on, just blend out the edges. So it's all about building on this and you just essentially do it in reverse. I just found that this is the easiest way if you really wanna create these dramatic cut crease looks is to start with the deep and then blend the edges with lighter shades. Next, I'm gonna jump into the palette into the shade MJ. So I'm just looking for a lighter shade to start buffing out on top, and I'm gonna take a clean brush, you can use any fluffy brush, and I'm going to start going around the edges. So I'm using literally the lightest pressure. This is the hardest part, is just being patient and letting your brush do the work. So now that we've blended that out, I'm gonna go in, I hope this works, with Iconic. I might mix in a little bit of Simba, we'll just see. And I'm gonna take this on a clean brush and I want to very lightly just fluff around the edges. Hopefully these shades will work. There's not a lighter purple in here. So I'm like trying to figure out what to do. So this is almost going to just fluff up almost into the brow. Now that we have the general shape, I want to cut the crease. I'm gonna use the same thing I use to prime my eyes. You can use a concealer, and you wanna use a flat brush. A bigger one seems to help me sort of load up the product, and I can't talk when I do this, but I'm just gonna go above my natural crease. My natural crease is really low, so I'm gonna go higher and stop about halfway in. So now that you've carved out your crease, we're gonna go in with the shimmer. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I feel like this would be really fun. It's not really what I did the other day though, but I wanna do something. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know what I wanna do. I'm, I'm like torn. Cause the other day I had a really shimmery white shade on. I feel like that green would look so nice. I'm going for the green. So this green shade is called Stunnin'. And I am going to, I might just take, cause it looks so much more, oh yeah, woo! Okay, I'm gonna take my finger and press this on and then go around the edges with a brush. So another tip, instead of trying to go back and forth, is to press and pull so that you get right on the edge of where you carved out your crease. That is such a pretty shade. I mean, look at this, wow. These are interesting. They do feel like ColourPop Super Shock, sort of, not as creamy, not as wet, I guess. Like, they're not like a typical powder. But again, I've never used Glam Light until today. So maybe that's how all of their shimmers are. So the next step I always love to do, and I feel like this really does help make the cut crease pop, is go back in with the deepest shade. So this is the shade Frisky. And you wanna take a really small brush. I tend to like one like this because I just dip in the lightest amount and I'm going to really enhance right around where I cut my crease so it really makes it pop. And then after that, you can take 
really any of the brushes that you used before just to make sure everything is nice and blended. So to mesh the dark shade with the green shimmer, I'm gonna go in to pot two, I can't say that right, <laughs> but I'm gonna take that on a new brush and I'm going to basically lightly feather. So again, very light pressure. I just want these two to diffuse together. And just to fix the outer corner and really make it pop, I'm gonna take Willow, which is the deepest shade, and Frisky, and see if I can get just a little more dimension on the outer corner. Willow seems to be the deepest shade, but I still wanna stay in the purple. I'm actually gonna go in a little bit to Immaculate, which is this shimmery, purple and I'm just gonna sort of go over this. I feel like I want these to mesh better. So we're gonna go like a green to purple shimmer and then into the deeper outer corner. Yeah, I kind of like that better because it just sort of flows a little bit easier. So you should look something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do a winged liner off camera and throw some lashes on just because I really need to get up close to the mirror and hopefully this will come together. So I went ahead and put my liner and lashes on. I used Lashaholics in Baby Girl. I will link them down below. And then I did take some of my NARS Radiant Creamy Color Corrector in Light and covered up some breakouts. I really love this. I'm gonna use it under my eyes as well. But now I wanna start on the base and I wanna talk about the Huda Beauty Glowish Multi-Dew Skin Tint. So I was sent three shades. The darkest shade I was sent was light. These do run dark though. So once you put them on, they really are quite tan and they're very luminous. This product reminds me of sort of like the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury or the Auric, but with more coverage, but it's just a little bit too much in terms of the glow for me to wanna to put in my T-zone. I didn't really like the way that it looked. I felt like it really enhanced my texture and that's something that I'm not really interested in, but I will apply it as a primer on the perimeters of my face just to show you how it looks. If you have really dry skin and you love, love looking really glowy, you might like this. But for someone like me, I've tried it a few times and I just don't like it. And especially with this eye look, it would not look right because I need more coverage. I want more of an even base. But I am going to apply it for you guys just to show you what it looks like. And we'll just use it as a primer. So this is the shade Light. And it's really interesting because you can see like the glow on it but it definitely has pigment. So I'm just gonna try to keep this really out of my T-zone. But just to give you an idea, I mean, it's very, very glowy in the sense of like actually there's like shimmer in there and there's just not enough coverage for me personally. I do feel a little bit like Tin Man. I mean, it does enhance your texture, and when you have texture like me down the center of the face, it's just not flattering for me personally. I've seen a lot of people kind of agree with that, but then I've also seen good reviews on Sephora, so it really just is up to you, but this is what you can expect. Now, of course, you can build up the coverage, but I feel like I needed a lot and then it just looked heavy. So I wanted to demo it for you just to give you an idea if you were wondering, but it's just not really, for me, it's not a standalone product. For my base, I am going to do a combo that I've been loving. It's the Armani Luminous Silk in 5.75 with the NARS Soft Matte in Stromboli. I just like the coverage and the long wear of the NARS, but I like a little bit of the radiance of the Armani. And because I have such a crazy look on today. You really, for me personally, I prefer this with full coverage. And this was the foundation combo I was wearing in my video as well. So I kind of wanted to 
show you guys. So now that we have our base on, I wanna go in next with the Say Beauty Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. I'd had so many requests about this, which I was kind of surprised, probably because I really love the blushes from them. So I picked this up in the shade Medium Bronze. I have to say the component is quite large. Not as big as the Chanel, but it's definitely pretty big. I was like not expecting it to be this large. So let me swatch it for you. So it looks actually pretty dry in the pan. When I looked at it, it looked pretty dry, but when you put your finger in there and it does become really creamy. It's not overly creamy, but I definitely didn't know it was going to be this creamy. Just looking at it, I was like, wow, that looks pretty like stiff, almost like a cream to powder, but it's not. I'm going to dip into the product and then just work it on the back of my hand and start up here. So I use this a couple times. These are not my favorite types of products. I'm not sure why, but I just, it's so hard for me to do creams and then set them. Like I just, I think that's why I like cream blush because I can put it over powder. And I tried that with one of these, which one did I try it with? Oh, the Refi Beauty. I tried it over powder and it looked nice at first and then it got super patchy around my hairline. I'm assuming from sweating because it is hot. I know everybody's probably just like, whoo, this heat wave. I mean, it is hot, hot, like humid. You walk outside and just like the air is just like steaming. It's not my favorite. So you can see it added some warmth. I'm gonna go back in. I feel like it's pretty buildable. I mean, it is pigmented, but I don't find that I feel overwhelmed. Like I'm scared. I feel like it's much easier to work with for me than the Makeup by Mario. But this is a bronzer and the Mario was a contour, so just keep that in mind. So you can see there that it's given me some definition. I don't know, the shade sort of jumped. I felt like the light and medium looked quite similar and then the darker two looked quite similar as well. So I, part of me feels like, yeah, it's okay. I feel like I always tend to drag it down too far as well. I'm gonna try to keep this up higher and that's why I wanted to do this and then we can kind of use our concealer. So I'm just taking my sponge where I did my foundation just to go under this a little bit, just to lift it. So here is the Say Cream Bronzer. I feel like it's really easy to work with. I prefer them in this component. Same thing with cream blushes. I like to be able to dip in. It's just my preference. I feel like this is a nice warm color. So it's not a contour, but it is sort of able to do, you know, sculpting of the face, giving you some color. This has a little bit of a tack, but I felt like even looking at it, it almost has that cream to powder, sort of like the Jacqueline cream to powder blushes not quite but I can feel it it's almost like it's creamy but then it sets down to a softer I don't know I, I want to say matte but it's not it just I don't know how to describe it but I think maybe that's why I like it it's not a very overly emollient product you can blend it but then once it sets down it feels quite comfortable so I like this it was very easy to use I didn't struggle with it so we'll have to see how it does with powder over it but this was one of the easier products to use especially since I really struggle with cream bronzers and contours this one was one of the easier ones to use okay so now I'm going to go in with my NARS corrector I like the shade light. This is really standing out to me. I've just been loving it. I use it almost every day. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and press into the skin. I really think this is such a nice product because it's very thin and it is that creamy consistency. So it is not drying at all, but it has coverage. So it really helps me cut down on the amount of concealer that I need to use while also color correcting. And then for concealer, I'm gonna be using my Kimchi Chic. This is in medium beige. I love this concealer. It is very high coverage and I like it with looks like this because it really sharpens under my wing. So Love Island UK starts today, which I'm so excited about. I love that show so much. Does anybody else watch it? Me and Cheryl are like pumped for it. And then I think Love Island US starts in like a week or two. So we're gonna be spoiled with all of these. We call them trash TV, me and Cheryl, like just like reality. We're like, I need trash TV, <laughs> like just mindless like TV like that. Big Brother starts as well, one of my favorite shows. Lots of TV coming. 
So next I'm going to set my T-zone and I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty powder. This is just one of the most smoothing powders. So I don't really bake per se, but I do just push it into the skin and I use quite a bit of powder, but I don't really like let it sit. I just kind of press it into the skin. So I'm going to go around that Say bronzer and then use the Dior powder that's really light over top of the bronzer. And to set the actual bronzer, I'm gonna take this Dior Powder No Powder because it's really lightweight. It doesn't even really feel like you set. And I'm gonna take this Beauty Blender Puff and I'm gonna press. This is where I tend to have issues. Just setting over this, but I'm just gonna be very light-handed. And because this is a really light powder, sort of like the Kosas powder, that's what I would recommend to put over your creams, not really like the baking powders that I use, like the Huda, I like to keep in the center of my face. So next I wanna bronze up with these Glowish by Huda Beauty Soft Radiance Bronzing Powders. So she sent me a couple shades. I have 01 Light and 02 Medium. I feel like when I swatched these, they swatched kind of opposite. So let me go ahead and swatch these next to each other. So the top one is medium and then here is light. I feel like medium looks lighter than light, but I like that it has a little bit more warmth to it. So I'm gonna actually go in with the medium and I'm gonna start bronzing up the skin. These are really confusing because in the pans, they all look very similar. And even when you swatch them, it's sort of hard to tell. It's definitely giving me some bronze. I still prefer more of a warm bronzer. I've been really loving the YSL and the Physicians Formula and they're very warm. So that definitely did bronzing. It didn't lift anything. It blended nicely. I just wish that it was a little bit warmer. I feel like these are quite neutral and I prefer just a little bit more warmth, but overall it blended nicely. Before we finish off the face, I wanna finish off my eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Nabla Cupid's Arrow Full Color Stylo. This is in black. It's basically an eyeliner. This is one of the easiest eyeliners to work with, to put in the waterline, and it's really creamy. You can blend it out and smudge it and then it sets. So I'm going to apply this in my waterline all the way across and even a little bit under here like so and then you want to immediately go in with a flat smudger brush and start smudging it out now you do have i would say like 30 seconds of play time but you want to move quickly because once it sets it sets so it should look something like that i feel like wow that really changes the look and once we put some shadow underneath but i'm going to go ahead and do that to the other eye so now i'm going to smoke out and i'm going to use frisky with a little bit of this pot too i don't know if i say that right but just gonna take a clean brush and I'm going to just sort of smoke right underneath. So that black liner really gives me the depth and then this pulls in that purple. I am having some fallout here so just be mindful of that. Okay, so I think that's most of the eyes done. I might put this highlight on the inner corner. I'm not sure yet, but I want to go in with the Michaela and Glam Light Pressed Highlighter. I've never tried this brand, but it's really icy, so we will try it out. Looks really intense, but so does this look we have going on. I'm trying to figure out what it reminds me of. There's like no kick up in the pan, but it definitely is a powder. I'm gonna put a little bit right in here. Okay, we're getting there. These looks take so long, especially to film, but I wanna go in now with the cream blushes from Dominique Cosmetics. There's three different shades. So there is soft pink, which I've used a couple times, natural rose, which is a deeper sort of flushed rose. And I think today I'm gonna use warm peach. So I've used the pink a couple times. They're pigmented, but they're not over the top, like scary to use. They work well over powder the times that I've used them. And they have that nice dewy look to them. I'm trying to think 
think of what they remind me of because the texture is sort of drier, but once you start putting your finger in, then it becomes emollient, but it's not over the top, like I said, to where it's super sticky and sliding around. So I'm just gonna dip in with the other side of my sponge, tap off on the back of my hand, and with the lightest pressure, start applying. These are pretty easy to use because like, I feel like you can't go overboard. The only thing is they're not super punchy. I would say they're more neutral shades, which I feel like a lot of people like. I like a little bit more punch typically, but the formula is super easy to use. So lastly, I wanna finish off my lips. I used the Natasha Denona Lip Crayon in Dana. These are so long wearing. They do run cool though, so just know that. And in the center, I'm gonna go in with KKW Peach One. This is what I think I wore in my last video. Yeah, I just love like peach with a purple eyeshadow look. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I was just about to say that I was done, but I forgot to use one of the glosses from the Michaela and Glam Light collaboration. It doesn't say the name on here, but this is the light nude shade. And I felt like I would really like this color. This is my type of color. Okay guys, here's my finished makeup look using some new products and also demoing how I do a half cut crease with the smoky lower lash line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did a different color on the lid, but I feel like you get the gist if you wanna recreate this look. If you do tag me, I would love to see it. But let's go over the products, starting off with the Buxom Plump Shot. I feel like if you really need something that is going to actually plump your lips, you might enjoy this. It does have a tingle, I would say, on a scale of one to 10, it's about a four. You can definitely feel a little bit of that prickly, sort of like you're getting stung on your lips, but it's nothing like the Too Faced Lip Injection. And this does give you a flush. As you guys saw, I felt like my lips got really red. For me personally, I just prefer the Lawless. I like the way that it looks. It's shinier, I like the way it feels. And I do feel like they both do sort of make your lips smoother if you have lines in your lips. It's not really an issue for me personally. So I think maybe I just like the look and the shine of the Lawless. This one is just, it's good, it does what it's supposed to do, but for me personally, I'm not looking for a lip plumper. In terms of the Michaela and Glam Light palette, now this was my first time using Glam Light shadows, and I have to say what makes this special is the shimmers. They do feel creamier than powder shimmers that you feel in most palettes. They are high shine, but they also can be picked up with a brush. So they sort of reminded me of a ColourPop Super Shock, but really much easier to work with. When you use them with your finger, it's just like metallic foiled on the lids. The mattes blended beautifully, very pigmented. Obviously this is a palette for people that love to do colorful looks, just like I'm wearing today. Am I serving Beetlejuice vibes? I don't know, but I feel like I had no issues with it. It really is a fun palette. I'm excited to play with some more of the shimmer shades because I feel like that's what really makes this palette stand out. I didn't have any issues. I feel like very vibrant colors and I was able to create this look quite easily. In terms of the Huda Beauty Glowish Skin Tint, I just don't think this is for me. I have too much texture in the center of my face and as I said, I've worn it a couple times. I just felt like I needed more coverage and less illumination. It's just a little bit too much. I feel like it would be a nice mixing medium to mix in with another tinted moisturizer possibly. There is some coverage on it, but no matter what, I just feel like it looks sort of orange and Tin Man-ish on my T-zone, which is not what I'm really into. I just feel like if you have super dry skin and you love to glow, and by glow, I mean like actually like illuminating properties, not just like a wet glow, but an actual like shimmer kind of glow, I think you would like this. But for me, I just have too much redness to cover and too much texture in the center of my face. I much prefer the NARS or the Fenty skin tints. Quite impressed with the Say Beauty Cream Bronze I feel like it's just the right texture. It is not overly sticky or dewy to where you can't powder it or your hair is getting stuck to it, but it's not dry at all. It seems dry when you look at it here, but once you put your finger in, you get that creaminess from the warmth of your finger. It's really easy to blend, buildable. It doesn't stick down. I had no lifting or patching, and that is rare for me. So I am excited to keep using this product. I just wish there was more shades because as I said, I feel like 
there's two shades that look really similar and then two shades that look really similar. And I feel like some people might have a hard time finding their shade. In terms of the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzers, they blended beautifully. I didn't have any patching or skipping. They do feel like quite creamy, even though they're baked. A lot of times baked products, like I'm thinking of the Milani baked blushes, can be a little bit dusty. These are much more creamy, like there's almost a cream base in here. But again, they blended beautifully. I just am favoring more warm bronzers. Lately, like this and the Makeup by Mario bronzers are just a little bit too neutral cool for me. Maybe it's because we're in summertime and I'm really favoring more like orange tinted bronzers that kind of give me that sun-kissed look. An update on this Dior Powder No Powder. I'm still using it and I would say for my T-zone, this is not my favorite, but... This seems to play really nicely with cream products. So if you need to set a cream product lightly, you might wanna check this out. Or if you have dry skin, I think you'd really like this. For me, again, this has a very special purpose, which would be setting on top of cream products. Whereas I would never like just put this on my T-zone to set under my eyes or anything like that. If you have dry skin, you'd probably enjoy this. Or if you're looking for a very lightweight powder to set cream products, I think you'd like this. Also impressed with the Dominique Cosmetics blushes. So far, I've only used two shades. I've used the Warm Peach today, and then there's a pink shade as well. I still have to use Natural Rose. They go over powder easily. They're not slipping and sliding, lifting, very easy to use. Not one of those like the Rare Beauty where you set it down and you can't blend it out or you've used too much, they're definitely buildable. So I would say very easy to work with. I just wish the shades were a little bit punchier because I like more of like a bright baby doll cheek. And I also liked the Glam Light and Michaela highlight as well as the gloss. Of course, I'll have to keep trying them, but the gloss was nice and pigmented. I didn't notice the scent to it and I really love light colors like this. And then the highlight is really icy white, a little bit more icy than I typically go for, but if you're fair skinned, I think you'd really like it. Very creamy very pigmented. I feel like you could buff it in and make it more natural or you could really punch it up if you'd like to. All right, guys, so that is everything for this trying new makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link all the products down below. If you recreate this, definitely tag me. I'd love to see it. Don't forget to check out Built Bar. They are a staple in my household. I just do not go a day without them. I will have all the information down below. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.